The iPhone 15 is a fun little phone, but because of iOS restrictions, it's tough to really personalize it the way you want to. Thankfully, there are now ways to get around that. This is my custom home screen for the iPhone 15, complete with a minimalistic calendar widget and custom icons. Everything you see here works perfectly, including all of the custom icons, and you can even tap on the calendar widget to open up the app. The process is a little bit tedious, so you'll have to bear with me, but if you want this Android-esque look, this is the only way to do it right now. Let's start with the background. I'll include links to where you can download both the lock screen and the wallpaper for free in the description below. Once you've downloaded the wallpaper, you're gonna go to the gallery app, select the background you downloaded, and scroll down to use it as the wallpaper. It'll default to setting the lock screen and choosing a blurred version of that photo for the wallpaper, but you can turn off the blurring after you hit add. Now for the calendar widget. As you know, there's currently no way to create space like this in iOS. These apps should be moving up to occupy this blank space right now. However, if you create a large widget that has a transparent background, it works. To do that, we're gonna download an app called Widgy. This is the best app for building custom widgets that currently exists on iOS, and it circumvents a lot of Apple's customization restrictions. Once you've downloaded Widgy, you're gonna tap on the Manage tab at the bottom. This is where you can edit all of your different widget slots. Before we can make the widget itself though, we need to set up transparency. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is tap and hold onto an app from the home screen to go into that jiggle mode Mode, and then swipe to the far right so that none of the apps appear on the screen. Then take a screenshot and head back into Widgie. Once you upload that screenshot into the Widgie app, transparency will be fully set up. You can also do this with a dark mode wallpaper too if you want. Now it's time to actually add the custom widget. To make things as easy as possible, I've included a URL in the description of this video that will link directly to this custom widget so you don't have to build anything yourself. All you have to do is copy that URL, then head back into the Widgie app and tap on the Create tab at the bottom. Hit the Import button and then tap URL or JSON. Paste the URL into the text box that'll pop up and it'll bring you directly to this custom widget. That widget is now imported, so all you have to do is add it to one of your slots. Tap on the Manage tab at the bottom of the screen, then scroll down to the Large Widgie slots until you see Large Number 1 and then tap on it. You should now see the custom widget we imported, so tap on that and select the placement of where that widget will go on the home screen. This widget might require some access to permissions to work properly, but after you fix those, you should be good to go. All you have to do then is go into your home screen, go into that jiggle mode again, tap on the plus in the top left-hand corner, scroll down until you see Widgie at the bottom, and then add the Widgie large number one widget from the widgets list. Boom, custom widget complete. Okay, now it's time to get those custom icons sorted. As you can see, each of these custom icons work perfectly. There's no lag and they open without any annoying pop-ups. But if you look closely, the app icon and a little check mark will appear in the dynamic island. That's because we're using Apple's built-in shortcuts app to create what are called bookmarks on the home screen. Because bookmarks allow you to choose a custom icon, we can get the illusion of a custom icon pack right on the home screen. Now, to do this, we're gonna need to access an icon pack. There are loads of free icon packs online that you can find and use for this, but I find that the premium icon packs are much higher quality like this one. This icon pack that I'm using is actually from the Google Play Store. It's the Dove Dark Icon Pack. To get this exact icon pack, you'll need access to a device running Android, whether that be a tablet, a phone, or whatever. But this process will work exactly the same for any icon pack you find, and I'll leave some links in the description where you can find some free ones if you don't wanna pay for anything. What I did personally was open the Dove Dark app on my Android phone, tapped on the icons tab, and then search for the icon I needed. Once I found it, I can then tap the icon to enlarge and then take a screenshot. From there, it's easy enough to crop the icons down to the right size and then send them over to my iPhone through Google Drive or some other file sharing service. Back to the iPhone, now we're gonna create a shortcut. So go into the Shortcuts app and hit the plus icon. From there, we're gonna tap Add Action, then Scripting, and then Open App. Choose the app you want to make the custom icon for by tapping on the app text, and then rename it from the drop-down menu. Then you have to upload your custom icon. 
To add the custom icon, hit the share button and then add to home screen. Tapping on the little icon next to the text box will let you choose the icon. You can then click the little X to delete the app text if you want. Hit the add button and then you're done. And by done, I mean you're finished one of the 12 app icons that will be on your home screen with this setup. I did tell you it was tedious, didn't I? The whole process probably took me close to an hour, but to get a completely custom home screen like this on an iPhone, I think it's worth it. Of course, Apple could just, you know, let us use custom icon packs like Android has had for years, but this will have to do in the meantime. If this video was helpful at all, hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.